You Johnny, know. we yes. have to congratulate you on your brilliant new show, Living Biblically. You are oh, the executive you. producer <laughs> of the show. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, tell them what it's about. Uh, Living Biblically is about a man who's at an important crossroads in life. He's learned that his, his friend, uh, his best friend, has just passed away unexpectedly and that he's going to be a father for the first time. And so he decides to, to return to what gave him comfort and solace uh, in his upbringing, which is uh, uh, religion, and finds that uh, he has uh, many more uh, questions as an adult yeah. uh, than he did when he was uh, a kid. And, and, and uh, it's very, very funny while being respectful to, to everyone's beliefs, and we've worked on it for years, and uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys, and thank you again for letting me talk oh, about man, it. Oh, it's, man, it's terrific. I think the whole premise is wonderful. Thank you. If you, if you were going to start living biblically, what do you think would be the hardest thing to change in your life right now? Oh, uh... <laughs> pro I mean, I think I'm a pretty honest person, but I tell a lot of white... Lot, like, I would say, like, Steve, I really like what you called the pimp suits. Like, just, and that's just designed to make you feel nice. I don't know if you go to hell for that, necessarily, but there's oh, probably a little quota white on lies. Them. Yeah, that would probably be... <laughs> what, what, what? Just the him. What did you say? Yeah, but you actually said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I repeated what you said. I didn't ask you to do that. I know you didn't. I just want to make you feel nice, so I just try to compliment people when it's really <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> What about you, that Steve? would be a lie. That would, that would, that would be defined as a it lie. It would be telling lies. What, what would be the hardest be thing nice for guy. you, Steve? Uh, I, I don't know how you could... I had to quit cussing. Yeah. I'd have to quit cussing. Even though I think this... I wasn't there. But I think in the biblical days, somebody had to cuss. Yeah. I mean, it, there were some cuss moments back then. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know... Look, like that time he did the miracle where he fed the 5,000 people <laughs> with the five fish and the five loaves of bread. Somebody way back in that line had to be going, you know, good and hell well, ain't gonna be no damn fish when we get up there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it ain't no uh, way. Uh, hey, what about that, that, that would be, I don't, I don't cuss, so that would be easy for me. Oh, you don't cuss? No, I'm <laughs> with you. <laughs> You know when uh, Moses, remember the movie, Moses, he had that staff and yeah. he threw it on the ground and it turned into a snake? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody cut. Boom. Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody. 